Hey, this is Dexter. In this lesson, we will learn how to divide polynomials by long division. We will also learn how to express algebraic fractions into partial fractions. In part 1, divide 4x cubed plus 8x minus 3 by 2x squared minus 3x using long division. Next, express the result in part 1 as the sum of polynomial and partial fractions. Pause to give this question a try and when you're ready, Keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. We are now divide 4x cubed plus 8x minus 3 by 2x squared minus 3x using long division. Notice that I have included 0x squared as the dividend does not have a term in x squared. Our objective of this long division is to eliminate away each term starting from the highest exponent. To eliminate away 4x cubed, we will multiply 2x by 2x squared giving us 4x cubed. Then, we multiply 2x by negative 3x, which will give us negative 6x squared. Subtracting 4x cubed minus away 6x squared from 4x cubed will give a result of 6x squared. Thereafter, we will bring down the next term, 8x. To eliminate away 6x squared, we will now multiply 3 by 2x squared, giving us 6x squared. Then, we multiply 3 by negative 3x, which will give us negative 9x. Subtracting 6x squared minus away 9x from the sum of 6x squared and 8x will give us 17x. We will complete the long division by bringing down the constant of negative 3. The long division process will end when the remainder can no longer be divisible by the highest exponent in the divisor. The long division can also be summarized by having the dividends divided by the divisor. And the result will be the quotient and the remainder. Thus, dividends divided by divisor will be equal to quotient plus remainder divided by divisor. The division algorithm can also be obtained from this by multiplying divisor throughout this equation. Our answer can therefore be expressed as 2x plus 3, which is the quotient, plus 17x minus 3, which is the remainder. Divided by 2x cubed minus away 3x, which is the divisor of the long division. And that will be the answer to part 1 of this question. We will begin part 2 by factorizing the denominator of 2x cubed minus away 3x into the product of x and 2x minus 3. For the decomposition into partial fractions, if the denominator contains distinct linear factors such as the product of ax plus b and cx plus d, we can express the partial fractions as a divided by the first linear factor plus b divided by the second linear factor. It means that for our first distinct linear factor x in the denominator, we can write it as a over x. And for our second linear factor 2x minus 3, we can write it as b over 2x minus 3. By multiplying the partial fraction such that we have a common denominator of x and 2x minus 3, we will form this new equation. To get the same common denominator, we will multiply a by 2x minus 3. Then, we multiply b by x. After which, by comparing constants, we have negative 3 on the left. And on the right, we will take the product of constants, which is negative 3a. Solving for a will give a result of 1. Similarly, by comparing the coefficient of x on the left, we have 17. And on the right, we will have 2a plus b. Replacing a to be 1 found earlier, our b is found to be 15. Finally, by replacing a to be 1 and b to be 15, we will get a polynomial to be 2x plus 3 and the partial fractions to be 1 over x plus 15 over 2x minus 3. And that's the answer to this question.